Hello friends, once again welcome to BISPSolution.com My name is Amit and today we are going to see how to calculate 12 month rolling sales. It's a small and interesting analysis. So in order to find 12 month rolling sales, I am going to use two functions over here called sum range and current member. And I am going to use both the function in nesting so that we see how it works together. Okay. So let's see the syntax first. The sum in order to find 12 month rolling sales, I use sum range function and the name indicate it returns the summation of all the values for the specified member. So if I'm going to calculate sales, the first argument would be sales and the range member list range from X point to Y point. In member list range, I can in turn pass this argument current member range, which generates a list of members list member that is based on relative position of current member which is being calculated so range function takes first argument dimension name generation and label if you're using label you specify what label you would like to calculate for example I like to calculate for label 0 start offset and end offset so start offset and end offset work like this if current month is March okay and I say minus 3 0 it means current month minus 3 so if I say March it will calculate for February and January so it will be sum of January plus February plus March 0 means including March okay I could pass over here 1 as well in case I like to calculate current month plus 1 for the future period okay let's see how it work so I've done a couple of example over here sample basic example I created a member name called rolling sales where my output is going to store. I created one member called rolling sales. Okay, and then uh, the first argument pretty simple. I'm going to use sum range function and calculate uh, only sales. Let's calculate only for sales okay. without any year. And I'm calculating sales for current member for period is my scope label zero member minus three to zero. It's right, so offset value is start offset minus 3 current minus 3 up to 0 Validate this no error and I already prepare an Excel sheet to validate the output Right, This is my Excel sheet where I'm going to validate my output So if you look at my Excel sheet, I have got sales and rolling sales for F5 15 and 16 both For one scenario actual product cola market New York and 12 months of sales, right? Let's validate this no error and execute this execution done and I could see over here current month minus 3 to 0 current month minus 3 and I refresh my output so we start from if I start from let's take focus on F515 now I'm going to keep it this only F515 keep only okay and when I focus on F515, I should see January minus 3 because there is no previous month. Therefore, it is 1 only. February minus 3. So February minus, we don't have previous 3 months. We have only 1 month prior. So 2 plus 1, 3. Similarly, for March also, current month minus 3. So this is going to be 6. Same fashion, you create current month minus 3. So 6, this 4 values, it is going to 10. This is a 10. In a similar fashion, I could see previous one minus 3. This is going to be 14. Right? So we can define for how many previous months you like to calculate and how many future months you like to calculate as well. We could work across different year as well. Okay. Let's see. So I'm going to change this minus 0 to 1 and see how it works. If I change it 0 to 1 and calculate this, my output will change. Now it will add one month ahead as well. So current month plus one month ahead. Next month it is two plus one three. Similarly, previous two month plus one month extra. I mean next month it's become six. Similarly, previous three months plus one month extra. Next month ten and so on. Previous three months plus one month fourteen and so on. So this is how the calculation take place. Previous three months, 
current month plus one month 15 right so if i would like to calculate 12 months 12 months rolling i'll use i go previous 12 months for current year previous 11 month for current year i assume my current is fi 16 fi 16 i go for previous month save this validate this no error let's focus on fi 16 now now this time i use both years 16 and 15 both i focus on 15 and 16 both keep only okay this is my sample data i'm going to load 00 once again to make sure i don't have existing numbers i put this number and write back now i calculate previous 11 month i want 12 months so we do in two step this is a previous 11 month data for fi 16 i calculate this and we check the output refresh so this is my previous 11 month right so if you look at this uh starting for fi uh, i should pass over here zero not one up to current period execute and i could see over here refresh current month previous 11 month so there is no previous 11 month current month previous 11 month so 11 13 14 27 is 27 previous 11 month there are only three months so the output over here 40 42 similarly it calculated previous 11 month 222 triple two this has become my rolling sales for previous 11 month i like to calculate for one month uh, you know going from current year to previous year as well so i include previous year as well so in order to calculate previous year i added it aggregate this and add previous year as well so i use f515 and i calculate one month ahead starting from 11th month one month 11 means 11 12th month 12th month also would be considered so this is plus 11 plus 1 11 validate i don't have semicolon there so i got an error save validate no error and run it now you find an interesting calculation now so when i refresh it you find it is 90 how this uh, how come this 90 you know come over here so i calculate previous 11 month so january previous 11 month starting from february right so i calculate february to february to december 77 plus january it's 90 right previous 11 month starting from Feb february to december plus february is 90 previous 11 month plus two months 102 you see previous 11 month for the month of march starting from march 2015 plus next three months january february march it is 100 and uh, sorry starting from april to next three months 114 do you see so whichever month you consider you can say april month you go previous 11 month starting from may and first three months january february march it is a 126 so this is how i can calculate previous 12 months of sales so that's it for today subscribe to our youtube channel should you have more questions please write to us our site is www.bispsolutions.com Thank you and have a great day ahead.